story time the bee box ancient egypt is a kingdom that thrived for thousands of years the nile is egypt's lifeblood the nile is the longest river in africa about 6600 kilometers long the nile gave water fertile soil and transport egypt was built along the banks of the nile river why snow on the mountains melted the river would flood Flood water brought in new fresh soil and the soil was used for planting crops. Fish were caught in nets and the water was used for drinking and bathing. The Egyptians lived along the Nile River. They were surrounded by deserts. The deserts and mountains protected them from attacks. Farmers grew crops along the banks of the Nile River. People who did not farm, had other jobs such as making tools, weaving clothes, building temples and houses and trading food and goods. The Egyptians also invented paper, the sail, the 365-day calendar, fractions, the ox-drawn plough, legal contracts and black ink. In Egypt, some people were rich and powerful, but most people were poor and had to work hard. The pharaoh had the most power. In this diagram the people at the top were the richest and most powerful and the people at the bottom were the poorest. The ancient Egyptians were very religious. They believed the power of the sun and the Nile. Both could destroy life, but also give life. The Nile also played a big role in life after death. Ancient Egyptians believed in many gods, and built temples. The most powerful god was Amun Ra. They believed a person's spirit lived on after death. It was important that the body did not decay. Dead bodies were mummified and the Egyptians put items such as food, clothes and jewelry in the tomb with the mummy. These are things that the person might need in the afterlife. The kings in ancient Egypt were called pharaohs. Most pharaohs were men but some famous female pharaohs included Hatshepsut, Nefertiti, and Cleopatra. The pharaoh was the most important person in the kingdom. They were the head of the government and the high priest of every temple and everything in Egypt belonged to the pharaoh. The pharaohs of ancient Egypt built pyramids, temples and obelisks to keep their mummified bodies after death. They did this so they could then be remembered forever. The first pyramids were built about 5,000 years ago. It is a great mystery how the slaves were able to move such huge stones. Next to the Great Pyramid in Giza, is a statue of a pharaoh with a lion body called the Sphinx. The ancient Egyptians also developed a form of writing. The writing was called hieroglyphs. Pyramid and temple walls, and stone obelisks were decorated using writing about the people who built them. Scribes did most of the writing. They wrote on clay or stone and later, a special kind of paper was invented called papyrus. We understand hieroglyphs today because of the Rosetta Stone. The writing on this stone contained the same message written in hieroglyphs, Greek and a later form of Egyptian. Researchers were able to use this, to translate the hieroglyphs. Math played an important role in Egypt. Ancient Egyptian used six main symbols for numbers. They needed mathematics because farmers needed to work out how much and when to plant crops. Builders needed to work out how much stone to use. Traders needed to work out how much their goods were worth. They needed maths for astronomy. Astronomy is the study of the stars and planets. Astronomy was very important in ancient Egypt and they built and positioned their pyramids and temples in relation to the stars. They also worked out their calendar, and when to plant and plough crops, based on the stars. For this, they needed maths. The ancient Egyptian had physicians who treated sick people with medicine, did basic operations, removed growths, set broken bones, and pulled teeth. Many of these were documented on papyrus, that still exists today. The ancient Egyptians identified many diseases that still exist today, such as tuberculosis, bulharzia, malaria, polio and migraines. Anatomy is the study of how bones and muscles fit together in the body. The ancient Egyptians learnt a lot about the human body during the mummification process. Physiology is the study of how living bodies work. The ancient Egyptians gave names to many organs such as the heart, lungs, liver and brain. They knew how these organs worked and even worked out the pulse according to the heartbeat. Physicians in ancient Egypt were able to examine sick people and diagnose their problems. 
they would then treat them by using medicines that were prepared by pharmacists. These medicines were mostly prepared from herbs and minerals such as salt and copper. The tomb of the pharaoh Tutankhamun was found in the Valley of the Kings in 1922. It was the first intact tomb ever found and told us a lot of his life and the life of other Egyptians such as their religion, burial, daily life and death, and how the pharaohs lived and ruled. Researchers found the following in his tomb, a painted wooded casket, a gold-covered statue of Tutankhamun as a warrior god, Tutankhamun's mask, a panel decorated with a picture of a horse and chariot, a golden throne with a picture of Tutankhamun and his sister. Many researchers have tried examining King Tut's body to find out how he died. Some believe he died of an infected leg wound or malaria. Long ago, many people came to Egypt using boats and traveled along the Nile River. They came from Europe and the Middle East. The Nile made it possible for ancient Egyptians to trade with people from other places. They traded items such as gold, copper, tin, sandstone, granite, wheat and barley for goods such as silver, spices, cattle and iron. Egyptian art and crafts, papyrus and linen, jewelry and fashion spread to Europe and the Middle East. Their alphabet and knowledge about medicine, mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, architecture and boat building also spread to other places. Many famous Greek philosophers studied in Egypt.